Savage Life family, we are seeing a meme coin surge. A lot of meme coins are quite up to date, making substantial gains. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now, the meme coin cryptocurrency market led by tokens like Shiba Inu and Floki Inu has witnessed a surge in investor interest with significant price increases recorded within the last day. Now, Shiba Inu experienced a remarkable 69% rise in the past 24 hours, contributing to a total increase of above 128%. And recently, blockchain analytics firm Sentiment reported similar trends in other meme coins like Dogecoin and Bonk. So notably, a sheep whale secured over $2.5 million in profits by transferring a significant amount of sheep to the big, uh, Binance exchange and selling it on the market. So other meme coins, including Peep with Doge and Floki has seen substantial growth with with from Solana blockchain spiking by 32 percent in the last 24 hours. So let's go ahead and take a look overall to see who is winning. Now, Dogecoin in the past seven days is up 95 percent with Sheeb up 305 percent in the past seven days, which is beautiful. And if we take a look here at Peep, 255 percent in the past seven days and then Bonk at 158 percent in the past seven days. So in terms of potential, we can see Bonk has the most potential, seeing as the market cap is only at $2 billion. So it does have the potential to truly explode in the short term if you wanted to place that bet. But it is extremely risky due to the fact that it is a meme coin. Not a lot of exchanges have as much access to Bonk as a Dogecoin and Sheep. So there's not going to be as much inflow into the market cap and volume as those meme coins there. Now, look at this data here. Now, Dogecoin shows Binance Dodge slash USDT shorts on top trader long account positions. 5.5 longs for every one short. So top trader accounts are individuals with millions of dollars on their trading accounts on Binance. And there's five longs, people that are betting long for the end of Dogecoin for this month in terms of one short. So that is extremely bullish because it goes to show that there is much potential for doge in the short term and there is profits to be made it's at 18 cents now predictions of around 25 cents in or by the end of this month so it is possible ladies and gentlemen if you wanted some quick profits there me personally i try not to mess with doge or meme coins for that matter over a certain percentage of my portfolio five percent is the most that i would put in the meme coins and that's if I'm trying to have fun in the short term and do some trades. Now, what's quite interesting here is that Bitcoin bulls are eyeing the upcoming halving event in April as a potential catalyst for further gains. So it historically reduces supply and boosts prices. For those of you who didn't know why Bitcoin has been exploding this year, every four years, this ends up happening, uh, happening because of the halving event causing a supply shock if demand stays the same or increases and the supply starts fiddling down, then we see a supply shock. Now, however, JP Morgan here warns of downside risk post having anticipating a potential drop to $42,000, a 33% decrease from recent levels. Now, this projection is based on the expected 20% decline in the Bitcoin's network hash rate immediately after the halving leading to decreased profitability for miners. Despite this, demand for Bitcoin remains strong with increased accessibility through ETFs. Now, I personally believe JP Morgan is out of their mind because that doesn't have a direct correlation to the price, and we studied that over the past couple of years. So JP Morgan here, take their price prediction or their expectation of it dropping to $42,000 with a grain of salt because they are known for manipulation. Now, JP Morgan here has agreed to pay over $920 million and admitted to wrongdoing to settle federal US market manipulation probes in its trading for metals, futures, and treasury securities. So this settlement included fines, restitution, and disgorgement with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission imposing the largest ever settlement. This ended up taking place back in 2020. For those of you who didn't know, the bank engaged in manipulative 
practices between 2008 when that housing market crash debacle ended up happening all the way to 2016 eight years of market manipulation including spoofing to create false impressions of buy or sell interest now some trades were made for jp morgan's old account while others were to facilitate trades for hedge fund clients so the bank failed to address the behavior despite warnings from its surveillance system and they acknowledged they did wrong what did they do get a slap on the wrist 920 million dollars for a multi-billion dollar company at the time so they end up trying to uh bring this manipulation over to the cryptocurrency market since it's not as heavily regulated as the stock market is so you think jp morgan fool me once shame on you fool me twice no, that's not going to happen, ladies and gentlemen, which is why we take banks' advice with a little worry of salt. And if they say a major Bitcoin dump is coming, then just expect the opposite because they want to hop into the market. They want this dump to happen due to the fact that you want to get as much Bitcoin as possible, take away as much Bitcoin from the people, hold it, hodl it, let it grow in price, and then dump it onto the markets. That is their strategy. So the first gold etf took more than two years to accumulate 10 billion dollars in bitcoin blackrock spot bitcoin etf alone took just seven weeks to accumulate 10 billion dollars in bitcoin that's how fast and how violent it is growing so there is major expectations of bitcoin reaching a hundred thousand or even two hundred thousand dollars or higher in the year of 2024. Now, why is that happening? Now, people expect a triple top to end up taking place for Bitcoin. And ultimately, what is a triple top? Three X's when it hits its all time high. If it hits its all time high, we're gonna be seeing roughly around 120 to 180 if that triple top takes place for Bitcoin. If it doesn't, then we start seeing a bloody, bloody roller coaster where we see. 30%, 20% drop in a day, and then a boom, bounce right back up. Now, if that does take place, you do know we're still in a having event. So if a 30 or 20% drop does happen, I'll be here along the way, and I'll be collecting and accumulating some Bitcoin. Lately, my strategy has been every Friday, add a little more cryptocurrency to my bags. I have a certain percentage of where I allocate those Bitcoins, and I put it on a cold wallet storage well, not Bitcoin, but ultimately a boatload of crypto with 20% of that allocation being Bitcoin. Because even though it may look like it's too huge to make any profits, it's good to own some sort of Bitcoin over the long haul, especially as some sort of retirement mechanism. You never know, ladies and gentlemen. So I want to end it off here with taking a look at some data for bonk now bonk here is a meme coin like i mentioned be very careful as lately the longs have been liquidated in the short term there's 2.7 longs for every one short and it seems quite crazy or dangerous to get into we are the savage life family here but we aren't reckless at all so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to smash that like and subscribe i'll keep you guys updated on the next one later if, if you were to say it's going to go up where you know where, where do you think it's going to go uh Absolutely. And, and, and describe exactly why yeah sure uh at the start of this year in december we actually published our 2024 predictions and we said that bitcoin would trade to new all-time highs above eighty thousand dollars a coin Based on what we're seeing in our ETF and these other ETFs, I think we have to revise that upwards. It could be 100,000, it could be 200,000, it could be higher than that. There's simply this massive supply demand dynamic going on, net new demand and a fixed supply, and actually a reduction in new supply coming up in April with the halvening. Sometimes investing is complex, sometimes it's easy. With Bitcoin right now, it's just about supply demand and there's too much demand.